doing football things and today I'm doing the sweater weather tag. That sounded really <laughs> sweater weather. Okay, let's do that again. Hi guys, it's Serena from Pretty Raw Things and today I'm going to be doing the sweater weather tag. Now, some of the questions from this tag um, revolve around Thanksgiving and I'm English so we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So I'm going to alter a few of the questions just to make them make more sense for me and I'm going to change it to Christmas. So, let's go. Number one is what is your favourite... Um, Jesus Christ, I can't even remember five words. Number one is what is your favourite candle scent? Um, so for, for kind of like the autumn winter um, season, I really like the spicy deep scented candles. Last year we had one that was um, a mulled wine scented candle and it was so lovely. Um, at the moment I'm currently burning um, Ginger Snow Fairy, I think that's what it's called. Ginger Snow Angel. That makes more sense and um, it just absolutely smells of gingerbread and my whole room smells like a bakery when I'm burning it and even at night because it's like on the um, bedside table even if it's not lit I, I just get whiffs of like gingerbready goodness so I really like that one but I think my favourite is just um, the kind of like woody and um, spicy scents that you get around Christmas they're so yummy number two is coffee tea or hot chocolate so I will drink tea and hot chocolate all year round like it doesn't matter whether it's hot outside or freezing I will drink tea and hot chocolate but the one thing that I specifically drink a lot more in the winter months and definitely in like November December is strawberry ribena with hot um, hot water, I was going to say hot milk then, that's disgusting. Um, strawberry Ribena with hot water and then I add a little bit of cold water so that it's drinkable and it is so yummy. Um, I mix in a little bit of um, cinnamon, make sure it's all kind of like um, dissolved and it tastes so yummy. It's like a non-alcoholic non mulled wine um, and it just kind of really warms you up and it tastes so good and yes, strawberry ribena with hot water is definitely the one for me. Number three, what is your favourite Christmas memory? Now this one is going to be insanely hard to answer because I'm 20, I've had 20 Christmases, granted I probably don't remember the first four of them because I have a bad memory and I can't remember being one, um, but I think... <laughs> It's going to be really hard to answer this, but I'm going to just kind of see whatever plucks out of my brain and out of my mouth. Um, so I remember, I can't remember how old we were, I think we were, I was about seven, I'm not too sure, but when Santa came, um, he left um, footprints on the carpet in the um, front room um, when he'd like come and um, I think it was actually flour, but like there were footprints coming out of the chimney going to each of our Christmas bags, which was so cool. Um, and then one year Santa left his button behind off his suit. I mean, he must be just so full of mince pies that his buttons popped off, but he left one behind. And um, I think my favourite kind of memories is when I used to leave my letter for Santa. Um, when I was younger, I used to cut out all these pictures of toys from the Argos catalogue and print stick them onto a piece of paper. And I'd write the price next to it so Santa knew how much it was. And then I'd say, if you could make one like this, that would be really great. And it would be a huge, it'd be like double sided, like Argos pictures of toys. And that was pretty much it back then. And then we'd fold it up and put it in a little envelope saying, to Santa. And then we'd put it in the fireplace. Um, and we put the shield up that we have that was kind of like a um, child safety shield around the fire. Put that around it so that no one would steal the letters. And then in the morning they'd be gone and Santa would have come down the chimney and taken our letters back to the North Pole so that he could get our presents ready. And yeah, that's what we did every year. Now we've stopped doing that and mum will just say, is there anything you want for Christmas. We still do the Santa sacks because that's just fun. Not knowing what you've got for Christmas and then them being in um, a Christmas sack because who doesn't want to open presents from a Santa sack, you know? Um, what else? One year I got an amazing alley. If you ever had an amazing alley, please comment below because 
she was incredible. Um, I remember I saw her in Toys R Us. Again, I can't remember how old I was, probably about nine or ten. And um, it was, it's a, it's a doll, but it's kind of like bigger sized. So probably about my head to my hip, I think. And um, she would talk and you, you had these like watch things, you could attach different things to it. And then she'd tell you stories and they'd be like sleepover mode and ballet mode and story time and she was so cool. I still have her in the attic actually and her hair is like matted like hell. Um, but that was a really good toy. If you ever had an amazing alley please let me know because I can't be the only one. Number four is red lips or black eyeliner. So I am absolutely crap. At eyeliner like I've been trying to do it for probably about six years now and I have not mastered it whatsoever still looks completely wonky and I think it's just because of the minimal amount of lid space that I have it just never ever <laughs> looks good on this face so definitely definitely the dark lips and I have two of my favorites here to show you the first one is by NYX and it's one of their um, fun colors and this one is in the color Medusa and it is a deep purple colour, colour, and um, I have used quite a lot of it, There's not, this isn't much as there is left, and it's an absolutely beautiful colour, it doesn't suit me too well because I am quite pale, but I really don't care, I will wear it anyway. The second one I have here is Sleek, and this is one of their true colours, in the colour Vamp, and it's a matte lipstick, but this one is a deep dark red colour, and this one is a little bit more drying, um, because it is matte, so I do tend to use a balm underneath it, and um, a gloss on top, but it's such a lovely colour, and um, I love wearing both of those all year round, but specifically in the winter months. Number five is your best fragrance for autumn winter. So mine is definitely this one here, and this is the Vera Wang Rock Princess. Um, I have two of the Vera Wang's perfume, Vera Wang perfumes. I've got Rock Princess and I have um, Princess Night, which is a purple sparkly bottle. This one is definitely a nighttime winter scent. It's very um, musky and um, deep scented. Does that make any sense? Like it's not fruity and bubbly and um, young. It's quite a mature scent and it does linger for quite a long time and it's so lovely. Um, but it definitely has the, that kind of like winter vibe to it, whereas the other one is more of a kind of like summer, daytime scent. And that is definitely my favourite winter scent. I wear this a lot. And it's actually only up to there. I think I got this last, not last Christmas, Christmas before last. And I've only used up to there because I'm really sparing with perfume. But I love this. Number six, what is your favourite Christmas food? I think I have talked about this before a lot and I probably sound crazy the amount of love that I give this food but Marks and Spencer's cheese wrapped in bacon is my life like when it rolls around to Christmas and the M&S Christmas adverts come on I'm like mom let's go they might have them we need to buy like eight of them and I need to eat them right now because I love them so much. They're probably not good for you at all because I think it's like processed cheese so that it doesn't melt in the oven but it's so yummy. Like sausages wrapped in bacon or pigs in blankets I'm not too fond of because I don't really like sausages but cheese wrapped in bacon is like heaven in your mouth. If you've never tried it go to Mass and Spencer's, buy cheese wrapped in bacon and you will be converted because it's that good. <laughs> I could eat a lot of them. I think last Christmas my mum bought two packs and my dad bought two packs. So at mum's house I ate like, I think there's 20 in a pack, I ate 40. And then at my dad's house I ate like 40. So that's a lot of cheese. Number seven, what is autumn like where you live? So <laughs> autumn in England is very similar to most of the year but slightly more cold not slightly more cold it is quite colder cooler colder um and it sort of just merges into winter like min minter merges into winter winter is colder still but 
sometimes we get snow but I think we're actually due snow at the moment and it's only November so yeah it's very cold outside but it can be sunny um, but it's not warm number eight your most worn sweater I have quite a lot of jumpers um, I just love wearing jumpers they're comfy and easy to throw on and yes this one is definitely my favorite and um, I've worn this in quite a few videos it's from Gap and the top of it is neon pink but it shows up orange on camera and then the rest of it is just navy and white stripes and the top of it has this kind of like argyle knit um, print to it if you can see now I saw this on Fleur last year from Fleur de Force and she um, mentioned she got it from Gap and I thought well I'm never going to find that jumper but I knew it had to be mine because I'm obsessed with neon things and um, I went into Manchester that weekend I think we were going to the German Christmas markets and um, we nipped into the Gap and I thought well I'll have a look and it was on the sale rail woohoo and they only had an extra small or a large and normally I would go for a medium but I tried on the large and it fitted really lovely and um I got it as a Christmas present from my grandma so I absolutely love love this jumper and it has lost its shape a little bit but that's because I just wear it so often and it's really cozy and comfy and because the navy is quite dark you can get away with wearing it with black things as well as navy things and it's neon so that's brilliant and I just really love this jumper and I hope it never ever dies ever. Number nine what is your favorite must-have nail varnish for this season? Well, mine is this one here, which is from Barbara Daily, and this is in the shade Glitter Galaxy. And I have it on my nails at the moment, but my nails are quite chipped, so I don't really want to zoom in too much. It's like a lilac-y, silvery, shimmery, autumn-y goodness colour, and um, I just really, really like this one. So this one you can get in Tesco. Number 10, football games or jumping in leaves? Most definitely jumping in leaves. I may be 20, but I will still kick the leaves as I walk. I will do that. Because football, I don't think, I think I've been forced to play football like twice in primary school. And I hate football. Ain't interested in the slightest. Kicking the leaves, however, it's totally up my street. Number 11, skinny jeans or leggings? So I do own skinny jeans, believe it or not, but I just don't find it that comfortable to wear because I cross my legs a lot when I sit down or I sit like on my legs and it's not comfortable behind the knees really to wear jeans and leggings are like wearing nothing on the bottom half but being modest at the same time. Number 12, combat boots or Uggs? So this is actually a hard one for me. Um, I would like to say combat boots, but I do own some Uggs and I absolutely love them. They are pretty dead now and I do need to get some new ones. And um, I know there are so much like controversy about Uggs and people think they're disgusting and um, whatever, but personally, I like them. They are so cozy it's like wearing slippers outside as long as you don't let it get to the point where the back of them is like folded sideways and you're walking on the side of the shoe then it's fine if they look good they look good if they look bad they look disgusting so there's a fine line there um, and I own the um, Ugg classic short chestnut colour ones Number 13 is what is your favourite drink to order in Starbucks now I have never ever 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 ordered a drink in Starbucks um, so I'm gonna go with a place that I do order drinks from which would be Cafe Nero and my favorite thing to get is the hot chocolate with marshmallows I'm really simple when it comes to drinks from shops like that I just generally go for hot chocolate because I don't like coffee and um, anything that's supposed to be like you know a hint of coffee it's just too much coffee for me I just don't like it um, so it's definitely hot chocolate all the way and um, anything with marshmallows and whipped cream and cocoa powder is definitely me but I've never ordered anything from Starbucks sorry 14 what is your favorite fall TV show or autumn TV show I'm really enjoying the American Horror Story um, series Coven um, Coven, Coven, um, 
I actually started watching the series after Fleur, Fleur mentioned it in um, one of her vlogs. She was in a hotel room, I can't remember what vlog it was, and she was saying that she was going to catch up on watching it. So I looked up the um, like trailer for the first series and thought, how have I missed this? And I watched all of the first series and then all of the second series. And then just as I finished watching the second series, the third series began and I was like, yes. So um, I've been watching that and I just love it. It's so up my street. It's such my kind of program. I've got an itchy. Does X Factor count? Because that's kind of on in the lead up to Christmas. Um, again, with the eyeball. Ow. X Factor is one of those programs that I enjoy but it's not exactly my kind of thing if that makes any sense like the music they sing isn't to my taste but I really enjoy the show because it's just so entertainingly funny and bad at the same time 15 what song gets you into the winter mood um definitely Christmas songs I mean hello if you listen to Radio 1 then um, Scott Mills is always like trying to get the first Christmas song in there and once he's played it I'm like playing all the tunes in the house Christmas songs are really fun but I don't have a song that particularly makes me feel autumn-y I don't know because generally I'll just listen to my own music um let me think I don't know I pass on that question I'm afraid so if you would like to do this tag, I'll leave the questions below and you can answer them in the comments if you want or you can do it as a video response and tweet it to me so that I'll see it because damn you video responses. Um, I'm going to go and itch my eye because it's really itchy and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! While I'm here, can I have your advice please? Okay, so. I ordered um, a home trial from Glasses Direct of the glasses, which is where mine's from. You may know that my pink the, my pink glasses were in my suitcase that got stolen, so um, I don't have them anymore, and they don't have them on the website. I emailed them about them, and unfortunately they've been discontinued, so I'm not going to be able to get them again, which is really sad because I loved those glasses. So I've got four here to try on, but I only really like two of these, so I'm going to try them on, and you can tell me what you think of them, whether I look like an idiot or whether you think they are pretty cool. I'm going to start with this pair, actually I've got three to show you. This pair is identical to the pair that I have on right now. Um, you see mine have pink at the side, these have blue at the side, so they are going to look completely identical, but um, I might just get another pair of these. They don't have the pink ones anymore, they only have blue and red, so we'll see. Um, so that's the same, so that doesn't really matter because I know what they look like. And I have these two here. These are quite different style to what I would usually wear glasses wise. But I've just been looking for something different to mix it up. And if I'm going to have a pair like this as well, because I have this pair now, um, then maybe it's worth getting something a little different. So that's this pair. And these are by Cosmopolitan, the magazine, and it has stripes on the side and it says Cosmopolitan. I'm not really a big fan of glasses that have brand names on the side. I don't know why, I just don't want a name on the side of my head. Um, these are a bit glary because they're plastic um, and not a prescription. But can you see me wearing these in videos and things or do you think I look stupid? Let me know. Let's call these glasses number one. And the next pair will be glasses number two. You can tell me whether you like those better or worse or whether they're both disgusting because um, I'm not too sure. So these are black and the inside is hot pink, which drew me to them. And these are the Scout in black and pink. And they look like this. So they're quite big and I feel a bit like a grandma, but I really like them. My mum really likes them as well on me, but I don't know. I feel like... In, in like in the mirror they look cool but on cameras and on video they look like I'm wearing goggles are these too big do you think or oh good bad or good these glasses number two so please let me know below because I would love your input on that so that I can order some new glasses and have two pairs again because I'm always worried about what happens if I break this pair because now I only have one um, I won't be able to see. Well, I guess I can wear my contacts, but I don't have that many pairs left. So, yes. Let me know glasses number one, two, or neither of them. And 
I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>